you so much, everybody. How are you, good? Lovely to be here. I'm working on a new look. I call this look the uh, hipster dock worker. Does that make any sense? Anybody? Just an old union man down on the marina unloading pallets of banjos and Lumineers CDs to the people. All right, good work, boys. I'm gonna go take my artisan coffee and e-cigarette break. I'll be right back. There's a lot of uh, young people here, a lot of young hip people. It's nice to see you all. You look very fuckable, each and every one of you. I like a young crowd, because I don't like when people bring, when there's very old people in a crowd, and not because I don't like older people in my audiences. I don't like the way younger people act when they bring older people to shows. They get very uptight if you bring your grandparents. Like, oh, don't make an edgy joke. Like, why do we not swear around our grandparents? It doesn't make any sense. They're fucking 80 years old. They've heard this shit before. <laughs> Like, oops, sorry about that F word, Grandma. Oh, that's okay, I was raped by Nazis. <laughs> I can take an F bomb, I lost friends in the A bomb. The point is, guys, we gotta be ready to laugh at everything. And here's a way to think about it. If you, look, if you, you don't go to hell for laughing at the jokes, I go to hell for writing them, that's how that works. And I was going there anyway because I'm a Jew, that's where we end up. <laughs> That's not my rule, guys. That's a Christian rule. I'm just repeating it back to you. <laughs> that's their thing. And I'm not anti-Christian. I think Christians are very friendly. They help you move. I think that's very important. <laughs> but that's their thing. You know, only we get to go to heaven. Everybody else has to go to hell. It's a tough rule, I know. Born lucky, I guess. <laughs> But the ironic twist of that rule is if I envision what my own personal hell looks like, it's definitely hanging out with nothing but Christians for all eternity, <laughs> listening to contemporary Christian rock music. Why? Why would they think that's music that would compel people to join their religion? If you play it backward, you can hear God screaming, no, <laughs> not in my name. I mean, they had beautiful Christian music. They had gospel music and Byzantine chanting, like, oh. Now it's like, me and Jesus eat a sandwich in the back of my pickup truck. Okay, fuck it, I guess I'll join up then. <laughs> that joke was put on the front page of YouTube at one point, and I was very excited about it, because when you get a, a joke on the front page of YouTube, you get all these uh, views, you get hundreds of thousands of views, and I was super excited about that until I opened up the clip and I looked at the 1,500 comments underneath the clip, the kind of title avalanche of theological warfare that I'd set off between the online atheist loser community and the online religious loser community <laughs> fucking battling it out on my fucking clip. <laughs> Taking my moment in the internet sunshine for their pathetic turf war. Like, there is no God, you believe a lie, you're an idiot. There is a God, you're going to hell, you're a sinner. This comedian looks like a faggot. Idiot, faggot, sinner, faggot. <laughs> Over time, over time, that kind of thing starts to affect your self-esteem, but I believe in turning a frown upside down, which is why I wrote that phrase, and why <laughs> I brought with me the greatest hits of that online flame war so that we could all share in the revelry of people talking shit about me on the internet. I thought you'd all like that. Here's a good first one. It goes, uh, ha, 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 fuck you. <laughs> Thanks for coming to my internet party. Uh, this guy sucks, but he can get better. Oh, oh, what a nice asshole you are. I don't like this guy. He looks like something I want to punch in the face. Sounded like the laughter of agreement. I don't appreciate that. Black people. Yeah, I don't know. Funny, but wasn't that guy in Devo? No, I was not. To the black people in the audience, Devo was a band in the 80s. I'm only kidding, there are no black people in the audience. We're in Canada. This one's good, I call this the audience judger because in it I find out who I like in the audience and who I'm still not sure about. It goes, what's funny is his blatant ignorance and also being a fag. <laughs> the people I like in the audience, they laugh at the irony of the joke, but the people I'm not sure about, they just go, what? <laughs> you do kind of look like a fag. And finally, fuck you, suck dick, never try to be a comedian again, you stupid bitch. I hope you die from cancer to see how foul hell really is. Love, Dad. <laughs> I'll be honest, that one hurt, because my dad's been dead for 10 years, so it adds a layer of mystery to the thing. <laughs> like, I didn't know they had the internet in hell. Turns out they do. It's dial-up.
people got weird. You guys saw, everybody gets weird at that line of the joke. They think I'm saying my dad's in hell because he was a bad dad. I hated my dad. I loved my dad. He was a great guy. But he was also a Jew. <laughs> and rules are rules. <laughs> Thank you guys very much. Appreciate it. Have you been to America? There's a lot of rednecks there, you guys. We try to keep them tightly packed in the middle of the country, but they eat a lot of greasy foods. So they can slip through cracks. <laughs> <laughs> that music, oh, you know that horrible pumping music that teenagers like. Mm, 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 mm. You know that. Mm, 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 mm. What the? It's, it sounds like a cat trying to be sick, doesn't it? 